hey everybody and welcome to the channel and let's get right on into it you know it's gonna be a hot mess if i am talking about portia williams yes lord it's gonna be a hot mess and it is a hot mess because she calling herself over here trying to talk about with e news or eonline.com news about how she feels about season 14 jumping off for the real housewives of atlanta and i'm like oh more salt in that wound huh portia more salt in that wound child because you're not getting that stable paycheck the only thing you had to do was stay on the show that's all but you and andy got together y'all conspired to get you a spin-off this that and the third called family portia family matters you went out there and wrote a book a tell-all book in a sense of your truth of the pursuit of portia and we can see how that went for last year and the first part of this year your your sales was skyrocketing because it was a new hot bestseller or we thought it was a bestseller well it did it was a bestseller because we were trying to figure out what was going on in that book some of us not all of us and i wasn't the first one to go out there and jump and pay for no 30 dollars for it all in about with the taxes and the discounted price that it came to 13 dollars and some change i think it was 13.85 and <clears throat> with the taxes and everything it came out to be a smooth 19 something so I, I i spent less than 20 dollars or, or 20 dollars okay so but the other people had to pay 30 dollars and then uh anybody that just was curious uh, or just wanted to support you they watched the the uh show that became a unhinged train wreck uh called the uh porsche family matters and nothing was good out that whole series or that whole episode uh, I don't know how many episodes were. I think it was seven or eight, something like that. But it was one season, and it just made you look terrible. Everybody else kind of looked good in there. Simon, he was just really forgotten about. Dennis came out to be the fan favorite, and uh, his mom was coming closer to second. And I mean, like everybody shines self for you, Porsche. You kind of made yourself look like a complete fool. And at this point now, in the new year of 2020, you cannot even talk about this show on public platforms such as the Rick and Smiley Show, Dish Nation, uh, any other outlet, um, OK Magazine, BET. Nothing was. I mean, you even went on Kelly Clarkson show, uh, trying to talk about the um, what do you call it, this show and uh we couldn't even talk about it because it was just that much of a mess the only thing you had to give us with that book was a was a, another complete mess and we needed to hear from it. i keep telling y'all zeus networks is where you and you need to be if you want to go over there and get your contract started please go ahead because i really don't see that anybody that got sense would try to bring you all back into the fold of the real housewives of atlanta okay because you're gonna be a liability for them such as nene and i don't think they're ready to take on that responsibility at this time okay you got to show and prove to us that you're a better person which we thought you were uh going to show us that on your show along with co-parenting how to successfully co-parent when two people are not together in a relationship but that failed miserably because you was up there throwing plates spoons knives microphone equipment uh audio equipment at your ex-boyfriend uh your baby's daddy okay but you were trying to steal a lifestyle from uh fallon Gubadia. That's what was her name. Her name is Falampina now. But you're trying to ride out in her lifestyle. And you even got the same identical car. Now that part is not allegedly. But you got the same exact car. Just the color was different. And I'm like why are you trying to mimic somebody else's life. Instead of living your own true self. Your own true life. Or what you make it. And how you want it to be seen. And portrayed in reality. Not just fantasy world. But yeah your whole storyline. <laughs> was wrapped around uh when you were still on real housewives of atlanta you had to talk about this storyline that you had made out in public about taking this woman's husband okay allegedly you said it was a different timeline but that's not what uh fallon uh Gabbati was saying but this is what you put out in your book somewhat i don't know okay but it, it's just a hot mess okay the whole thing that you were part of really i guess when you all were taping in the summertime and we saw it in the fall of last year it was a complete mess and then you end up losing family members you treated lonnie so bad everybody had to take lonnie's side because you were really cussing her out without using verbal cuss words you were just putting her like just treating her like dehumanizing her like she wasn't even nothing she wasn't no human being she wasn't even but a 
a thought that you quickly erased out your mind. And then you were fighting over there when you were trying to show us what co-parenting was like. Throwing dishes, knives, forks, and everything else you can put your hands on that can just gravitate towards Dennis' head. Okay, and then uh, you got mad because he had brought some company. But you had big old Simon up there, big old head Simon. Who who then going to play with his mama? You know what I'm saying? If y'all co-parenting, y'all wasn't supposed to be thinking about who who the other person with and all that. You, that no, y'all were there for PJ and try to see what we could do as far as co-parenting. Which I knew that was a hot mess and it was going to stay a hot mess because you didn't bring no family members with you your mama wasn't there she copped out she said she ain't gonna be fooling with that mess because she knows she had to face miss gina and then they were gonna have some words because miss gina gonna expose that your mama did possibly allegedly uh, <coughs> tell her that you were cheating on dennis okay then you had your cousin down here trying to throw all these allegations that Dennis tried to assault her and 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 and, and, and some other stuff we ain't gonna even mention, but it's not favorable allegedly, okay? <coughs> but this is the whole mess you put us in. And you had us watch. Now you didn't force us to watch the mess. No, you didn't. But curiosity killed the cat, and you know I'm over here doing my YouTube platform trying to talk about celebrities. Their good times, their bad times, their pros, their cons, and you happen to keep coming up on my radar. And I was curious, and I just let me go see what she's doing over there. Now, that's a sharp ass car. I'm always that, that's what I'm now. I don't even want no cars no more. I'm more of a truck type of person. But Lord, I might have to paint my truck that color because it's just so beautiful. And that color beautiful just to get off the side note. But Portia was trying to floss on somebody else's life instead of building her own and letting us see what that life looks like. It seems like she can't get it together. She can't show us who she really is even though she's saying she's all these pers these people. And one, I'm like, does she have a disorder we need to talk about? Do she have a disorder? But I'm going to let that go for now because she's having too many different personalities in her to make me not think otherwise. It's it got to be something mental going on. But that's just my opinion. That's just what she's giving me when I look at her and I'm trying to analyze her from just a child's point of view. You see what I'm saying? Because I have a 31 year old. And so I had to reflect, <coughs> reflect on her actions as well. But that's not about my daughter. We're talking about Diane's daughter right now. Okay? But she alienated, you know, Lauren. She tried to get on Lauren. Lauren was trying to do a good thing for her, trying to get her. Uh, consciousness woke up you know <coughs> like she had on the black lives movement when she was woke and all speaking out on uh black lives matter and all that kind of stuff then she's gonna come up here and write this book and y'all know i've did several uh reviews on certain chapters of the book and it did it wasn't favorable i would have told her to burn this shit up throw it in a uh, fire and let it burn okay tad up no don't 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 even try to recreate it we don't want it we don't want it i'm sure the masses the people out there that watch you they don't want it either okay <clears throat> but anyway that was her truth and a lot of people couldn't take her truth when i put it out there and then you know she tried to speak on um uh, R. Kelly in his situation. Now you know she ain't no been talking about that man because nothing was in that man in her book that would have made her be like the other women had claimed out and, and came out and claimed that he had did bad things to him. No, Portia, you was a willing participant. You went up there to that man's house about four or five times. You got served. He got served. And that's pretty much all came out of it. You were a young adult at the time, but when you went up there the first couple of times, it should have been that first time when should have never let you saw Chicago back again. But nope, you went back. So the whole situation was made to be messy. You thought it was going to bring you some money, but it, it really didn't bring you nothing but shame and embarrassment, okay? And disappointment over here. All right, it was a hot mess. The show was a hot mess. The book was a hot mess. But really what we're getting into today, if I may um, digress, is Portia Williams had an interview <coughs> with E! Online. And she was talking about sisterhood. And she was talking about when she was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. That was the format that they were trying to embody. With sisterhood. Black sisters doing their thing. Showing and proving. And all that. And I said, Portia, what reality was you in? Because even The Housewives was a train wreck. But it was doable. You know, it was kind of getting boring here and there. Because of people, the people they had cast it out to be on the show you know we had some little arrows and, and, and some people that just wasn't giving us nothing but they were there you know what i'm saying but you were the fan favorite when you were on real housewives of atlanta and you were showing and proving giving us antics here and there trying to keep up with kenya moore but we know twerk gonna tear up everything in her vicinity if you come forward you better be ready to be lock loaded and ready to spray because she already on deck with her ammunition okay always on point always together and ready to 
catch her itch if she have to or check her itch i should say all right but anyway you were her nemesis because she fell out with you when y'all both came on on season five and you start calling her miss america or whatever and you know the girl with you miss usa okay miss usa girl get it together and kenya ain't never forgave you since even though it seemed like y'all were trying to make or give each other all the branches when y'all had the babies and y'all was trying to overlook each other flaws that y'all felt that one another y'all each had for one another but it just is what it is well we go on and talk about this uh article i had found out about that spencer lubiz lubitiz had put out um on um you and the interview that they had like did with you um on um february 12th i believe it was okay they titled it it was an exclusive uh it says portia williams hopes season 14 of the real housewives of atlanta celebrates sisterhood rather than drama I'm like girl have you hit your head since we hadn't seen you being on tv being on um different hosts or panels uh platforms where you go and talk about your book because that's pretty much all you got right now but anybody that know anything about that book know it's fully just full of trash okay and they don't need to waste their money unless they just want to throw caution to the wind and they have it as a coaster holder or something that they just want to say they pretty much uh gave you their coin to keep you know you and your revenue stream or whatever <clears throat> kind of like a pity buy you know because they feel sorry for you since that nature but like i said you might have some true fans out there that want everything portia williams and they went and did what they had to do and i felt you know i didn't really feel guilty i was just being nosy i'm, I'm just giving it to you like it is. i feel a nose and i need something to talk about and um i purchased your book i didn't pay full price for it nope because it wasn't well i kind of knew it was gonna come down and i said you know i shouldn't even pay 13 something for it less than 20 dollars but i said hey i talk about you all the time i'll give you a little coin here and there to throw back at you and i plan to go try to um test out your sheets later on this year sometime maybe the spring see what kind of colors you got uh going on and see if i can do a true review on that uh you know i feel like obligated if I, I you know i make money off you a little bit i might well go and give back to you here and there you know what i'm saying i'm just that kind of person um but anyway um she, in the article it says portia Wigeon shared her thoughts with e-news about the upcoming season of the real housewives of atlanta four months after leaving the series and to me it seems like you want to go back because uh we that the, the, the real house real housewives of atlanta ain't never been about no sisterhood girl none of the franchises have ever been about sisterhood unless somebody had befallen on bad luck or you know some illness came or uh just something di disastrous happened to one of their fellow colleagues or constituents then you know it's just the best effort put forward like nini lost her husband everybody came and rallied uh um shout her with love and everything except for cynthia bailey but we dragged her enough times uh, and we probably still will drag her until the end of time about why she did not attend uh greg leaks's uh nini's uh deceased husband's celebration of life you know we still can't wrap our head around that and we still will have banter about it here and there you know but it's not it's really never it's really neither here or there right now but i'm just bringing it up to you how you know the women do come together when they uh face some disastrous times even whether they don't like the person or they uh, are indifferent with the person they showed up they showed up and showed out okay kenya came from taping from uh we call it dancing with the stars you know she had other prior engagements but she came on back uh portia came on back from um I'm gonna say Rio, <laughs> but I uh, say what? What's wrong with you, Shasta? Turkish and Keiko. Hell, I don't know what she was over there with her glorified uh boyfriend. Cause he ain't. I mean, y'all get with this fiance and all this shit. This is another fancy word the white folks thought up. Okay, but basically, you're still boyfriend and girlfriend. Cause you don't have no ties until you get solidified or cemented, signing on that dotted line on that marriage certificate. Not one of them uh made up things that you go and have a traditional off the book record type of way we ain't talking about those okay we're we not talking about those we're talking about the one you go down to your state courthouse it's filed documented notarized stamped and we know that you're mr and mrs you see what i'm saying okay but anyway uh it said um 
Okay, while she might not be a part of the cast anymore, Portia Williams is sharing what she'd like to see on the upcoming 14th season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I said, then look at, look at, look at, here comes Cookie. She's talking about what she would like to see. We, we would like to see a lot from you, Portia, okay? But we got food, we got bamboozled, we got hook week. Hood winked, okay, girl, trying to follow you on that Porsche family matters and trying to elevate you and your revenue stream by buying your book. And you just disappointed us all the way around. Well, hell, you might not disappoint anybody, else, but you disappointed me, girl. Okay, my expectations was a little bit too high for you. And I know my expectations ain't got shit to do with what you're doing out there. Okay, that's just my opinion, okay. But I, like I said, you be hanging around Nene, she gonna, okay, y'all need to be over there in Zeus Network. That's why I need to be tuning in, buying a membership, and watching y'all. Uh, be up people over there because that seems like that's what y'all y'all want to do y'all want to fight y'all want to uh sue people yeah y'all want to uh call other people you know degrade other people but you don't want to look at yourself you don't want to look at yourself in your life through that same micro micro lens or uh, um uh, 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 uh recorder lens that you're trying to uh pin everybody else to okay it just ain't working out but anyway, uh, the reality star who announced her departure from Bravo show last September made her comments to E! News on Saturday, February 12th at Shaq's Funhouse pre-Super Bowl uh, whatever uh, party in Los Angeles. The number one thing I love about Housewives is when we are celebrating the sisterhood of it all. So I really do hope that that's what they're going to get back to, she said. I'm not really into a dark season where it just gets so deep into drama. I want to see the sisterhood. All right, damn, that's what you wanted us to look at over at Portia's Family Value. You wanted us to look at the dark side. Hell, ain't nothing but darkness in, uh, in uh, reality TV stations or, or uh, series or, or, or sitcoms we looking at. Ain't nothing but darkness. Ain't, ain't too much light up in there, okay? That's why it's... Uh, selling so fast that's why people are curious okay they don't want to look at the good being good they want to make the bad be good and the good be bad that's the kind of world we living in now Portia so all this bullshit that you coming up with that's where we need to put it in the bullshit category because you're just throwing salt you're just trying to make all the women feel like they are part of a ratchet TV show uh, because you're no longer involved in it they making money they making six figures over there and you're just living off six figures that you had I don't know if you're getting residual income uh, from what we just saw as a complete unhinged train wreck of a, a season, one season I tell you, of Portia Fallon Matters. I don't know if you still get money, you just got paid up front, your six mil or whatever, or, or how much you got for the show. But I hope you split it some of that with the, uh, your family members because your show made them look like fools too. I don't know if they signed up for what they thought they were getting or they signed up for a dream that never came to fruition, such as, you know, Mrs. Uh, Elizabeth Aunt Lee is trying to get out more publicity for Jose Feed the Hungry Food Bank Organization. I ain't see none of that really. Maybe a little skip it here and there. But it, it wasn't what she probably was promised that was going to be said and done to uh, generate more revenue coming her way for that uh, non-profit organization. And um, we, we barely get, well we did see what Laura was trying to do with her spirituality and motivational uh, platform she's trying to uh, develop over there. But you kind of really, you know, uh, what do you call it, dethrone that idea as well because you didn't participate. You didn't, you didn't really do shit out there. You know, Dennis was doing the work. He was there trying to do what it do, make it do what it do so he could be co-parenting with you on point. And you sitting up him doing other things like, uh um, I don't know, doing a podcast at one time we saw you doing and hell you were sleeping in the other time and I was just a train wreck. Just a train wreck girl. But you talking about you don't want to see no darkness and no drama. Hell that's the only thing anybody to tune in watching their T V screens for is made up drama. Okay? And if you want to throw a little bit of your life scenario in there mixed in with that, we okay with that too. But if it's going to be appetizing, we'll take part in it. We'll eat at the table. But if it's not, we're throwing that shit away. And we're walking away, okay? And we ain't going to ever come and partake of that mess anymore, okay? So, for you to sit there and say, this is what you want to see. We don't want your opinion on that. You can cancel 86 that, throw it in the trash, okay? Just look at the uh storyline look at the show without you being present on it if you can handle it baby if you can handle it because it's rolling that train never stopped when you got off at that station and called yourself you're gonna leave your jobs this nation you're gonna leave real housewives of atlanta 
and uh the ricky smiler show you just threw all that to the wind say uh-uh, i'm gonna make it on my own i'm gonna go out there and do what i gotta do make it do what it do and we see what it made it do it looked like doo-doo okay it looked like feces running around there it wasn't shit okay i'm just saying you can't roll like this girl okay because she did what she had to do she got in got out and then took her assistant with them married them and then got a baby okay now some people feel some salty about that they feel some kind of ways that's their opinion they can but i'm like hey from my end of the spectrum both y'all did wrong she just came out on the better end of the stick okay she walked away with her cars she walked away with not really wanting that house but he had to pay her a little bit uh i think her name was on the house um and she's doing real well at the time but you you're going around saying we're really trying to shade the franchise that made you who you were made us uh see you for who you were and what you have become and then it gave you your income it gave you a platform to let other people know because samuel jackson and Noah portia williams until she got on the, uh real housewives of atlanta okay i'm just saying then she had other revenue streams dipped out to her to partake in ricky Mount, ricky smiling morning show this nation okay they gave you other revenue streams to put out porsche pampered with porsche's um bed sheet line okay and her naked go hair all that kind of stuff and i see you wearing your natural ro rocking hair now slick down to your head what's going on you need a, a breather is it, the weave taking some of your hair out or something because you never really like to flaunt that short hairstyle unless you're going through some things. What are you going through, Portia? What are you going through, girl? All right, we're going back to the article that was written up by E! Online News. It says, while attending the Win Night Life sponsored event, the insecure actress shared that there will be lots to celebrate in the show's upcoming season, especially the return of Sheree Whitfield. We have old school Sheree is back with her fabulous stuff. stuff. I know she's got so many things planned, Portia said. She's got a clothing line. So I just want to celebrate the women this season. I hope that's what I hope that's what it's all about. While well, Portia hasn't been in touch with Sheree or anyone outside of the immediate family as of late, she was adamant that if it didn't diminish any of the love she has for her former castmates. I'm like, well, you're in touch with somebody if you know Sheree trying to get her Sheree, um, what it was, uh, uh, what was I called that was? She by Sheree apparel line going. So you had to be knowing something about that if you wanted to talk about it. So you keep it up with somebody or somebody's telling you, leaking you information about what's going on with Real Housewives of Atlanta and what they're going to be showing this season. Because I'm pretty sure you got your hookup still. Okay, you can't give us too much and you can't give us enough. So what you gave us was shit, but we, we'll go with it. We'll go with it because we see you're thirsty at this time. Then uh, the article going back into it, it says, I'm that friend that I don't have to be around you and I can still celebrate you and love you from afar. You mean that's what you did with Shamil when she invited you and wanted you to be a part of her wedding, but y'all fell out on some bullshit and you didn't even go to your best friend's wedding? Is that what you're talking about? You don't have to be there, but they know they can hang with you and y'all still be cool. No, you'll be cool, but they'll be salty. And if they had enough sense, they would cuss, uh, cuss you out in so many words and leave you the F alone. I'm just saying that's how i would roll but it just is what it is they're not me but anyway she remarked honey i am in my new house busy with my whole little family i don't have time to be with people but i do celebrate those ladies and i hope they do well well la, la, la. i'm glad you talked about that looky looky here comes cookie i'm glad you talked about that house well let's talk about that house girl okay yeah that house you live in was fully decorated what furniture did you have to bring in? None. Okay. Is, is, a, is it a stage scene that you want us to partake of? Yes. Uh, is your name on the house on the deed? From what we know allegedly, no, it's not there. Your name is nowhere to be found. Okay. It's only in Simon's name and it's in Yuri, not Simon Gobadia. Okay. And his last name is spelled a little different too. All right. We had... Um, real youtubers uh investigators out there and they they pretty much bust that wide open because they went to the cap county superior courthouse where records are kept you know they're not sealed and you can find that information out and boy should they found out girl that your name is not on that house okay you want to explain that one okay you just want that to slide by and hopefully it dies down and nobody talks about it 
Hmm. Let's think about that. Okay, now you say you're busy with your little whole little family. Yes, because your family circle has gotten very small due to the fact you made them look like a fool on your one-time spinoff show. We ain't talking about the baby, expecting the baby and all that. We're talking about the one where you had to be able to shine, show and prove that you could hold a showdown on your own, which we saw you didn't. Okay, you fried like a piece of burnt fish in the frying pan, girl. And we had to throw you and the cast away. And we don't want to see it anymore. We don't. That's what we heard through the grapevine. No, actually, that's what we saw on TV. Now, unless we was in an alternate reality and it showed something different to what we saw and what we partaked of was a hot mess. Yes, a hot mess. Uh, and don't need to be repeated anytime soon in the near future. Okay, so only people that you do have is PJ and Simon. Okay, that's all. And maybe your mama here and there. Okay, because your mama's your mama. She's always going to love you through thick and thin. And I think y'all, you know, have that kind of relationship. You can fuck up all day long. Your mama's still going to love you. Okay? Um. So, yeah, your circle is very small. Very, very small. And then you said, I don't have time to be with people. People, bye. that's kind of suspect because they don't want to be with you, Portia. They don't want to be with you because at this time, you have nothing going on. You have nothing that they could share budding stories with. All right? So, yeah. I know you're going to keep Shamia on a, a short leash because you need her for publicity. And right now, she has a she's a radio personality. So, if anything that you're doing new that you need out there to the masses in Georgia, you're going to use her as a source unless uh the radio producer owner of the show don't want you to be a part don't want to you know partake of anything of you on the show where you're advertising for you or they're advertising for you for whatever product or whatever shows or whatever um any television series you may be in okay so that's your lifeline we understand it but i understand why you're not hitting up ricky smiley okay why you going through shamia did you burn bridges with him girl did you burn bridges with him but anyway going back to the article it says when asked if she'll ever potentially make a grand return to the show herself portia was uncertain saying i don't know however she did seem flattered by fan support girl girl you know if they put that table and brought you back as a friend you would let you on that thing and hold it for dear life and you would be there so stop it stop it stop trying to play the role you should have said yeah honey i'll be right back on that choo-choo train all right flying back trying to make it do what it do so i can get that revenue all right but anyway um you went on to say, um, you know, Nene Leakes is our epic, legendary star who started the franchise. And I definitely appreciate being with her for 10 years and people even still speaking my name and looking for me. I love that, Porsche replied. That means that I had an impact while I was on the show. And I love that. So I hope that they have a good season. Even without a filming schedule, Portia is gearing up for a very busy year. Right after embarking on a romantic getaway with her, we're going to say, um... Uh, boyfriend they put fiance but that's just how i feel i am sw uh sweeping my honey away to a secret location she gush i am super excited this is our first valentine's day together then it'll be back to work and she plans to go on the road to promote her new book the portia the pursuit of portia how i grew into my power and purpose okay you did that tour in last year in november you still touring girl with that book child please all right um she's saying we're we weren't able to do it in person but with the spike we had to push back the second tour because it was just in high demand to go to other cities i really feel like i'm walking in my purpose she said following the release of the book the whole purpose of the book is portia finding her power and her purpose and i'm in that lane now being able to talk to people about so many deep subjects that i touched on in my book i'm like girl what lane are you in the first lane for us getting on the expressway because you sure ain't flying high in that last lane where we going fast and furious over there trying to make it to see your books no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am okay we're still trying to get on the lane when we're coming on the expressway that's where you're at all right so all the books that touched down and went global or, or international as you say that was just because they were buying it just to see what was in that sucker but when they started seeing it and started talking to friends that book sale went down because i know i got it for a very big discount okay 
from thirty dollars to thirteen dollars girl please anyway uh attentively going back to the August is setting a date for the book tour for spring the Barbalette uh, continue. I really do enjoy provoking these conversations, so I'm excited to go on tour. Okay, and that was pretty much what it was. That's what it was, and we were just out there trying to, in a sense, bring Portia to reality that nobody's really checking for her. Okay, and every time she goes and talks foolishness, people such as myself are gonna come back and say, "Girl, what reality are you living in? Get something else going. Get you some brand name jeans out there. Some some tops." Or, or makeup or do something else because from what I'm seeing if they bring you back on Real Housewives of Atlanta they're gonna probably want to talk about your fiance and his lackluster of being a billionaire or millionaire they want to know what he does they want to see what he does instead of him going around your uh, grandfather's legacy of the Jose Williams uh, food bank organization and trying to throw out money and advice to Aunt Liz which she probably will not probably invite him back unless he apologized on every platform uh, to the public that he was very sorry uh, very sincerely sorry we need to get him back on camera we don't need him to be doing no apologies on his cell phone okay because she wants him to feel stupid and look stupid on TV just like he tried or he really did to her all right so that's all I have for Portia Williams and her recap to a journalist at E online news on her thoughts of what she felt the uh, franchise of Real Housewives of Atlanta need to go back to but I'm like in era they never started out that way baby they started out with mesh drama and debauchery and any type of dehumanizing uh, scene that they can put on the black women here on the Real Housewives of Atlanta okay so I, I don't know reality what reality you're playing in sleeping in living in but it ain't the one with the masses okay so we need to take off we need you to take off those rose colored blinders get on some real viewing of how you're looking out here in these streets I'm just saying live your life live it to the fullest but when you do mess just know we're gonna come at you with some reviews girl so you said you had thick skin so take it take it take it take it we have to take it as bloggers because a lot of people don't agree with what we say in our opinions but we just give it from the perspectives of what we see that you're doing out there so we like publicity we're talking about you that's giving you publicity so everybody wins right and hopefully you'll develop you'll mature and you'll grow in a positive way okay but that's all i got for this video guys if you like to love it gotta have more you know what you need to do when you come to the house make sure you hit that like button when you leave the house tell your friends and family about me okay and then your enemies too they need a good laugh or two uh, just hit that subscribe button and share my videos and then i will see y'all next time Bye bye